All right, let's do this. What's up, guys and girls? MC have got milk. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to do something a little different, which I have not seen anybody do yet. But we are going to pretty much purify the bike. So, what do you mean by purify, Mike? I mean, I bought some fuel ejector cleaner, and we're going to put it in the bike, and we're going to do a before and after video of well, before and after test of if it actually works or not. Before we get started, I want to show you something I got for Christmas that my mom got me that I'm actually really psyched about. I got a few good gear. I got some new pants. These are like the pure motorcycle pants that you can ride in the cold. You can take out the inner liners on and you can change them during the uh, summer. And these gloves, holy crap, these gloves right here. They are warm, windproof, waterproof. They even have a little squeegee on it so I can like clean the camera if I wanted to like this. Whoop, whoop. And then I clean my uh, visor on both sides. But the coolest thing is, is right here, it's heated. They're heated gloves and the carbon fiber uh, knuckle protectors. So I absolutely love these gloves. Today I bought some Tecron fuel injector cleaner. I heard that a lot of bikers actually do put them to the full thing. In. It says like it treats up to like 21 gallons. So a lot of them just pour them in the bike. So I'm gonna try that. It shouldn't hurt it if it does. I live literally in that development right there. So if it does do anything, turn the bike off, drain the tank, call it a day. So we are going to head to the gas station and we are going to experiment. But first, before we do that, we are going to do some riding and see how well it rides normally without it and how it rides with, with it. So we are going to get up on the road. So, I mean, you guys seen on the other videos how it rides. So this is pretty much how it rides. You've seen me floor it. You've seen on the uh, off-roading video. So, but we'll do another quick uh, little floor before we uh, get to the gas station, which is right there. So there's that. That's why, again, that's why I don't drive stupid. Whenever you drive stupid, stupid things like that happen. Cars do not see you and they'll pull right out in front of you. And it's honestly ridiculous. But alright, that's a nice little... There's a third gear little half floor. But yeah, so that's the bike without Tecron. So we are going to turn around and we are going to go to the gas station and we are going to put this baby in so we can see how it rides. Super in it because the bike's only deserved the best for the best. Yeah. That would suck, wouldn't it? Huh? What? I said, yeah, that would suck, wouldn't it? All right. So I'm gonna cut in and out of this real quick when we do all the editing because the copyright music is going to kill me. All right, there she is. So it says enter the entire empty or empty tank. So here you go. Queens in one tank fill performs new and high mileage vehicles. Only has uh, 7,000 miles, but we're gonna do it anyway. Over here, my hand, so we can do this. All right, let's do this. I don't know if I'm regretting this already or not, but it's gonna be on video, and if it breaks the bike, then I guess what? At least I got it on video. It shouldn't though, because they get, because they have to add it to the gasoline and make it flammable. This can't not be flammable. So, pull on more, all the drip drips. All right, she's empty. Oh, da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. All right, I only took a gallon, 1.6 gallons. Four dollars and fifty cents. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. All right, she starts. That's good. Let's flush the old oil, old gasoline out. Let's put the kickstand. That'd be a good idea. Let's get out. Let's get the hecky out of here. But again, I, I don't want to be one of those hypocrites who are like, oh my god, I put something in the bike so it has to work. So I'm actually going to actually try to see if it, there's a difference at all. I don't know. It seems a little, sm like a teeny, teeny, teeny bit smoother on the acceleration. Like it's not jumpy a little bit. Like again, we're in third gear right now, going 45. But if I even 
55 in that split second. Like, I don't know. I like it. I'm enjoying it. Let me just slow down a little bit. I don't need Popo officer. All right, so that pole right there that's broken, a car hit that pole and they still haven't fixed it. Like it was, it, some, a car hit that, rolled into the woods about like blah, four or five months ago and it's still not up. But all right guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Make sure you follow my Twitter and Instagram. All in all, I really think Tetron did something to it after riding around for another like 30 minutes or so because that's just in third gear and I'm, I'm picking up speed like crazy so we'll drop in the second real quick yeah so it's it's some good speed again it's only a twin but a uh, the need for speed see when you're on a bike I know I ended the outro already but real quick I know when you're, when you're on a bike you feel like you're not going fast like in a car you're like pushed to the seat like oh Jesus Christ but like when you're on a bike you can go 0 to 50 in like 2 seconds, if that, and you're like, that was 0 to 50, I feel like I'm going 20. It's just, it's kind of weird. Alright guys, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care, I love you all. Oh, why is my spike so dirty? We're going to wash it. But alright guys, <laughs> I'll keep stop you guys from waiting. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.